We started this journey from Trivandrum, stayed overnight in Bangalore, took an early morning flight to Bagdogra and reached Delo Hill in Kalimpong. We stayed at the tourist lodge there and after exploring the exotic flowers park and the places nearby, we moved to Lama Hatta Eco Park. I took the trek up the hill through a serene scene of clouds dancing among the pine trees. Now we are moving towards Lama Hatta Farms where we had booked for the night. Lama Hatta Farms is about 3 kilometers downhill from the main road. The path leading to the property is so rough steep and narrow that only four-wheel vehicles and experienced drivers can navigate it. Salina's brother-in-law, who is a passionate traveller himself, had vast experience driving the hilly terrains of Darjeeling, Sikkim, Ladakh, Nepal and many other places. He had confidence in his skills as well as his four-wheel drive Toyota Fortuner car that we were traveling in. But the passengers in the car who were getting tossed around were not so confident. If you aren't sure of driving on this jungle path, I would suggest that you arrange a pick up and drop with the resort. One last turn on this tricky path and we had arrived at the farm's parking area. After a rather adventurous drive, 
down a road that does not exist we are finally here in lamahatta farms so let's see what this place holds for us to reach the lodge you need to walk for a couple of minutes from the parking area The cabin that we were staying in was huge. It had a king size bed and fold out sofas which could fit additional people. It had all the modern amenities that you would need. But the highlight of the room is the balcony that opens out into the jungle. You are treated to magnificent views of the surrounding hills. Towards evening it started to drizzle and soon turned into a heavy rain. This brought the temperature down by a couple of degrees. The next morning we woke up to this melodious orchestra. Good morning from the misty jungles of Lamahatta. This morning we woke up to the sounds of birds chirping. I can uh, hear the sounds of uh, some some cocks crowing somewhere far away, but I can't see anything because of the trees and the mist. So there are a few houses nearby. So even if the road is in a bad condition, it is really worth. coming to this uh, property the location is really good you can spend some time with nature and the food is also so today's program is after breakfast we'll go to darjeeling town So after a wonderful stay at Lamahatta Farms, uh, we are saying goodbye to this place. And then it was time for some uphill off-road action.
We got very less time to explore this resort, but the value of the time spent with loved ones would be far greater than anything else, right? We reached the road point in one piece thanks to the four-wheel drive car and the skills of our dear brother-in-law. Just before reaching Darjeeling, we crossed the Ghoom railway station, the highest railway station in India. This is the Dali Monastery. See how majestic it looks. As we cross Darjeeling town and move on towards home, I will end this episode here. If you like this video, please click like. Please subscribe to the channel and help me keep the channel going. Don't miss the next episode where I taste one of the most expensive teas in the world. Goodbye.